Mercy land. I'm in association of power. Mercy land. I'm in association of power. Mercy, Mercy land. land. My name is Obina Anyam. The woman beside me, she's my lovely wife. The children, our children. Praise Master Jesus. My testimony goes like this. The problem that brought me to Christ Mercy Land is this. My late father is an herbalist man. Not ordinary herbalist man. He's an occultic man. Which people knows him in Abia State. When my father died, they handled the power to me to worship the idols. I refused. All the cultic men that buried my father, they said I must follow that procedure. I said no. I started facing challenge. We would like to hear from you. You said uh, you inherited that idol spirit from your father. Is that right? Yes. And uh, it affected you in the sense that your activities were not really moving? At all. Everything. So, what are you doing for a living and how severe the attack was in your career? I'm a weather by profession. Okay, you are I mean, a weather by profession. Yes, I'm a pipe weather, I'm going weather, all kinds of wedding. I can wed by the grace of God. My work, they took it. They start afflicting my children because not, no bullet, none of their bullet enters me. They start attacking my children, my wife, all things that belongs to me. At a time, I run back to them to come and take all the stuff. I don't want to serve those things. They say I must serve it. If I help people, they will pay me with bad. If they employ me for work, before you know it, they will take the work from me. Without knowing that those powers, they are the ones fighting me for me to come back. In my dream, they visited me. They said I should not come to serve God. They will give me all the wealth the way they give my father. But I remember something in the Bible, in the book of Deuteronomy 8:18. The Lord said, I am the one that gives it wealth, power. I look myself. I say, You demon, go behind me. The lawyers called me on phone. Say, your life is at stake. Remember your children. If you think that you are strong, you are what of your children? I run to different churches. No avail. No solution. Immediately I come to Christ's mercy land. Immediately I come to Christ's mercy land. Mm. Power. So when you came down to Mercy City and you were opportune to have with you the pool of Bethesda water and uh, that settled the matter. So can you tell us the changes that have been taking place into your life and particularly in the life of your children? You know what? Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Before, before, I always go to church, pray, but no answer. Well, since I stepped to Christ's mercy land, I mean, since I stepped to Christ's mercy land, power. I'm talking to you now. God of Jeremiah has given me the power to burn idol, any kind of idol. I burn them successfully and go back successfully. And look at my children. When you look at these children here today, like this one, for over two years, it cannot work. But well, immediately, my senior prophet, Jeremiah, won. A woman, woman, a woman, aka, use the prayer. Mat to me. He gave me this prayer mat. Immediately I took this prayer mat down to my house. I placed it on my child, this child. Immediately the child began to walk. Power! People of God celebrate Jesus for that. So you said your child couldn't walk for how long? More than two years. Then. He for more than eat two years. Food. He cannot eat food. Okay, is it the one uh, we are seeing your wife holding right now? Yes. So, can we see your baby? Wow, people of God, this is the baby who couldn't walk for the past two good years. But after the man of God, after you received the prayer mat from the man of God, Prophet Jeremiah Omoto Fofeng, after praying for him, the man of God blessed him with this prayer mat and he laid that prayer mat on the child, believing that Definitely, he will get his answer. And that is how the child receives his healing. And today, the child is restored. People of God, can we celebrate Jesus for that once again? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, 
I believe that there are more blessings that the God of Prophet Jeremiah has re revealed, I mean, into your life. Can you throw more light about that? Children of God, praise Master Jesus! Praise Master Jesus! Wow. When you believe this testimony, your own is sure. In the book of 2 Chronicles 20, 20, the Bible said, believe Jesus, you shall establish. Believe your prophet, you shall prosper. Because I believe the God of Jeremiah, Amot of Ophoi, a.k.a. He provides for me cars, building, children, and not only that, I can pray now by the name of Jesus. Things begin to happen, but before I cannot see it. People of God, celebrate Jesus once again. Power! Yes, our brother is saying his life has been transformed ever since he encountered this great commission. God bless him financially, restore his, car his career, and uh, not only that, people of God, he was blessed with a brand new car for the glory of God. And not only that, he was able to purchase a land whereby he has started building his own house because he believed that this is just the beginning and he's coming back here for greater testimony. And if you believe that that same blessing will locate you today, people of God, I want you to jump up on your feet and begin to receive your own blessing, receive your own promotion, receive your own breakthrough in the mighty name of Jesus. So, for what this God of Prophet Jeremiah has done, today you've said no to Satan, no to idols, and yes to Jesus. What word of advice can you give to people out there still under this bondage of idol worship? You know, God, praise Master Jesus. Because of time, I flash my memory back to the book of Luke 10, 19. The Bible said, my son, I will give you the power to tread upon the serpent and scorpion and powers of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. If you believe, oh, I don't know where you believe, but I believe in Jesus. Because I believe in Jesus. Viewers, I am telling you, connect yourself to God of Jeremiah and of Ophoi. It will not fail you. Connect yourself, your family, to this great God. I tell you, in all your fight, fighting you, they will come back to you in Jesus' name. Can we give the Lord a clap offering once again? Sir, we can see um, something in the bottle there. Can you explain to us uh, what it's all about and what were you using it for? Children of God, praise Master Jesus. Those things inside that bottle, those are the things, the powers of darkness used to monitor me. Once they enter, they begin, my children will start to converse. But since I come in contact with God of Christ, Mercy Land, any evil bed or any monitoring spirit that enter into my compound, they turn to Mumu. That's how I get them down. People of God, can we celebrate Jesus once again? We can see right now on the screen of our television, this is uh, the evidence of what our brother is talking about when he was still under the influence of this evil spirit, this idol spirit tormenting his life. And all this emanate from an evil altar, and that evil altar speaking against his life before he encountered this great commission. But glory be to God for the God of Prophet Jeremiah who has given his life today a meaning and is here to glorify the name of the Lord for that. So we rejoice with you for what he has done and we want to encourage you to be ruled by God's word and by so doing, your wonderful testimony will be permanent in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Voilà, chers télésateurs, nous remercions le Seigneur pour la vie de cet homme. Alors, il est ici aujourd'hui pour remercier le Seigneur pour ce qu'il a fait dans sa vie. Alors, il a dit que par le passé, il faisait face vraiment à des attaques spirituelles dues à des esprits d'idolâtrie. Alors, cher Tessateur, il a dit, ceci, il a hérité cela de son père, et ceci l'a énormément affecté.
Voilà, cher Adesati, il a dit ceci agissait négativement contre sa vie et ceci a vraiment apporté tant de tourments dans sa vie au point où il avait du moment du mal à pouvoir joindre des deux bouts. Alors il a dit que lorsqu'il a fait la connaissance de ce ministère, vraiment le Seigneur a intervenu positivement dans sa vie. Il a dit qu'il faisait face au rejet dans son lieu de service en tant qu'un soudeur professionnel. Alors il a dit que les gens le détestaient sans aucune raison. Alors il a dit, cher Adesati, que lorsque l'homme de Dieu a prié pour lui, vraiment le Seigneur a apporté restauration dans sa vie et euh, également euh, ce tapis de prière qui lui a été donné par l'homme de Dieu, il l'a appliqué juste dans la vie de son fils. Et son fils qui ne peut pas marcher depuis plus de deux ans a commencé à marcher. Aujourd'hui, ses activités sont restaurées. Tout est restauré pour sa gloire. Et aujourd'hui, il a pu s'acheter une nouvelle voiture. Et sa vie, sa vie financière a été complètement restaurée. Ses enfants qui étaient mal à part le passé sont maintenant bien portants. Il s'est réjoui de cette heure miraculeuse. Apposons pour le Seigneur. Thank you, Jesus. 